Star Wars fans everywhere, including myself, started geeking out when Kanan Jarrus mentioned the war with Mandalore in Star Wars Rebels. That mention actually isn't the first reference to the Mandalorian Wars, nor was it the last, so in today's video I'll go over the Legends history of the Mandalorian Wars, what we know about them in the new canon so far, and speculate on any future stories that could reveal more. In Legends, the Mandalorian Wars took place about 4,000 years before the events of the films. After the Great Sith War, the Republic and the Jedi began reconstructing. A Sith Lord came to Mandalore the Ultimate and manipulated him into striking at the Republic while they were supposedly weak. The Mandalorians began by conquering systems in the Outer Rim, but started to invade the Republic more directly after conquering Terrace. The tide of the war turned when a group of Jedi went against the orders of the Jedi Council by joining the Republic military to push back the Mandalorians. The Jedi were led by Revan, who herded his enemy to a battle above Malachor V. There, Revan defeated Mandalore the Ultimate in single combat and unleashed the destruction of the mass shadow generator, which devastated the planet, destroyed the enemy fleet, and ended the Mandalorian Wars. Considering Revan is a very well-liked Legends character, it's easy to understand why any mention of the war that made him famous would be exciting. But Kanan's reference in Rebels isn't the first time we've seen evidence of the Mandalorian Wars in canon material. A battle between the Mandalorians and the Jedi can be seen depicted in a mural in the Clone Wars Season 5 episode, The Lawless. The wars were also recently referenced in Aftermath Empire's End. Admiral Ackbar thinks through historical examples of inferior fleets defeating superior ones, and Mandalore's victory over the Republic is listed. So what do we actually know about the Mandalorian Wars in canon so far? Well, it's hard to say anything about any one specific war, because it sounds like there were multiple conflicts between the Mandalorians and the Old Republic over the course of galactic history. We know the conflicts began when the Mandalorians first encountered the Jedi Order. They didn't understand the Jedi or their abilities in the Force, so they developed new armor and weapons to fight them. At some point, Tar Vizsla joined the Jedi Order and created the Darksaber, but after his death, the Mandalorians waged war against the Old Republic and stole the weapon back. This attack occurred around the same time as the founding of the Galactic Republic in place of the Old Republic, which happened right after the supposed fall of the Sith. That makes me think that something very similar to the attack on the Jedi Temple seen in the Old Republic cinematics must have at least some level of truth to it. In that cinematic, the Sith attack the Jedi Temple with the help of a Vizsla. The last canon fight between the Jedi and the Mandalorians took place on Mandalore, which turned much of the planet's surface into a lifeless white desert. And that's about all we know so far. Although I think it's important to note that a planet named Malachor, not Malachor V this time, underwent a similar devastation as can be seen in Legends. From all the evidence seen so far, that was a fight between the Sith and the Jedi with no Mandalorians present, but we can't say that for any certainty. I do think what we've seen points towards some sort of alliance between the Mandalorians and the Sith, just like in Legends. So, will we ever see more information on the Mandalorian Jedi War? I think it's likely and inevitable. We might not ever get any one story focused on how it all went down, but I think at the very least we'll continue to get little tidbits here and there to reveal the full story over time. I hope we do get some actual content in that time period though. In Legends it was always one of the coolest periods of Star Wars history, and I'd love to see it return in a major way. That's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with Star Wars lore and news videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.